Hey, what is up guys? FZM here. I finally got the LG V30 Plus in the studio in the stunning raspberry rose color. I've had a lot of requests for this smartphone as the V30 range is the most premium handset series created by LG so far. So sit back, relax and enjoy. Let's get started. So the LG V30 Plus comes in an all black box. It's bigger than the box which the LG G6 came in. Makes sense since the V range have traditionally been bigger phones compared to the G series. Minimalistic design on top with the V30 Plus branding in the middle with a bit of shine as I turn the box around. Nothing else on the top of the box. This is the international version LG V30 Plus and does support all 4G carriers here in the UK. So on this side there is a certified for use sticker which is probably only on the international versions. At the other side of the box is the barcodes and the other product information. So there we see made in Korea, 128GB and Raspberry Rose. Okay and on this side nothing here apart from the memory storage size at the top, letting you know exactly that you've got yourself the plus version at 128GB. So onto the back, at the top right hand corner is the Bang & Olufsen Play logo. Now that's a real bonus guys, Bang & Olufsen headsets if you're not familiar with them are extremely good and are top of the line quality. And towards the bottom end of the box is all the regulatory information, just above we see Qualcomm Snapdragon written. That's because the LG V30 Plus ships with the Snapdragon 835 chipset. Right let's get the lid off and begin the the unboxing. Okay, so there's a cloth covering our device which is branded with the LG logo. I'll just put it aside for now. And ooh, there's the V30 Plus, the beast itself. Now I'll come back to it. Let me just sift through the remaining contents of the box before we go to the phone itself. Right, so let's take a look at the tray that was sitting underneath the phone. So there's a few bits and pieces. So what do we have here? Firstly is the warranty information and LG customer care guide. Next up is a quick start guide to get you and your new V30 Plus up and running. And finally is your SIM ejector pin. Moving on we have here a fast charger, specifically Qualcomm's Quick Charge 3.0 charger. So cue the charging tests. It's a three pin plug, which is great as I'm in the UK. There's your USB port on the side, up top the LG logo and at the back, fast charge, just like my LG G6 charger. Nice. Next up is your USB Type-C charging cable in white to match a charger, which again looks identical to my LG G6 charging cable. And let's save the best for last, apart from the phone itself, obviously. Bang & Olufsen Play Earphones. Okay, so there's a few different size earbuds in this packet that's useful. And here's our B&O earphones. Let's get it out of the packet. Nice. So the wire is in a black finish with a premium braided mesh material so they'll last you a while and won't easily be damaged which is great. And thank you LG, we still have the legendary 3.5mm headphone jack so obviously your included headset will work perfectly on the V30 Plus. Now there's your awesome earphones, B&O branding at the back of them. Slick and stylish and no doubt they're easily the best earphones to come packaged with a smartphone in a long time apart from AKG headsets that come from Samsung. So I'm impressed LG, well done. Right, as for the box itself, yeah we're pretty much done here, nothing left inside. So let's get to the main event. So here it is, the LG V30 Plus. Time to take off the plastic seal to reveal the beast. Now let's take a glance at the back of the phone and its new colour. On first impressions, the raspberry rose finish is absolutely stunning, plain and simple. It's a beautiful colour that will catch a lot of attention for the right reasons. Your family and friends will immediately want to know what phone that is. This colour variant was an exclusive made in time for Valentine's Day. V30, Valentine's Day. I see what you did there LG. Nice. But your marketing team needs serious work. The average consumer isn't even aware that such a beauty like this even exists. Come on LG, it's 2018, don't get left behind. So the raspberry rose colour adds to the four existing colours found on the LG V30, which are Aurora Black, Cloud Silver, Lavender Violet and Moroccan Blue. Which I was going to get but I decided on this one simply because of its uniqueness compared to the more traditional colour choices. Okay, so let's check out the front display of the LG V30 Plus. Again, first impressions, it's simply sublime. So we've got here a nearly bezel-less design and slightly curved glass panel. You can see the rose pink colour accent around the edges as I move it around. So it's firm in the hand, surprisingly light with a solid grip. Believe it or not, it's actually lighter than the LG G6, which is incredible considering the V30 Plus is the bigger phone. So at the bottom, we have the primary mic on the left, USB-C charging port in the middle, and speaker grill on the right. On the right-hand side, we have the SIM tray. Up top, the LG V30 Plus has its 3.5mm headphone jack, top or bottom I don't care as long as it has one, and a secondary mic. 
on the left hand side is just the volume buttons. On the all glass back, at the bottom is the LG logo in a silver tint which complements the rose pink finish. In the middle is the Bang & Olufsen logo which I personally think suits the phone's personality. Just above is the fingerprint sensor which is positioned perfectly just like the LG G6 and it also works as your sleep wake power button. And once again let's save the best for last. Here we have the LG V30 Plus dual lens camera setup. The main primary camera is a 16 megapixel lens with an incredible f1.6 aperture which lets a lot of light into the camera. That's superb for low light conditions. I haven't done a proper camera comparison video since I first started my channel believe it or not. So let me know if you want to see a camera comparison test against other flagship devices. So back to the primary camera lens, we also have full optical image stabilization along with laser and phase detection autofocus. You can find those lasers under the LED flash next to the camera module. The secondary camera is a wide angle lens at 13 megapixels with an f1.9 aperture. Now if we have any LG fans here they'll know just how good the wide angle lens can be. So it's great to see it again implemented on the LG V30 Plus. The great thing also with this camera setup is you can seamlessly switch between each lens and record an Ultra HD 4K video with high fidelity audio. The all glass design and slightly curved edges of the LG V30 Plus makes this feel stunning to look at and very nice to hold and use. I genuinely like everything about its look and feel. What more do you want? It's gorgeous. So now that we've had a good look at the phone, I'll power it on so we can check out the display in all its glory. Right, I'll do a full setup off camera and I'll be back. There we are guys. What a beauty, and I thought the back of the LG V30 Plus was incredible. The display is absolutely phenomenal. The glass panel goes almost to the edge of the phone, but not quite fully. I'm glad it's that way because it doesn't spoil movie or video playback by curving the footage on full screen mode like you see on the Samsung Galaxy S8. The effect is more refined here. The V30 Plus certainly has taken inspiration from Samsung in its display design, but they've done it extremely well and tweaked it just right. So the LG V30 Plus has a 6 inch Quad HD P OLED display, which is a new kind of OLED display with differences in the underlying panel technology. It's a taller panel than its predecessors with an 18 by 9 aspect ratio and is an absolute joy to look at. I love the skin LG have used to complement the rose pink colour of the handset. The V30 Plus also has Corning Gorilla Glass 5 on the front and back and has a polished aluminium frame around the body. It's a fantastically bright and vivid display with a resolution of 1440 by 2880 and with Dolby Vision it's HDR10 compliant. I'll conduct display comparison tests to really showcase the display of the V30 Plus. So out of the box it's ready with Android 7.1.2 and it comes with LG's overlay LG UX 6.0 Plus. So overall guys, I think LG have done a phenomenal job with this device. I can't wait to begin performance tests so I can push it to its full capabilities and test it against the Huawei Mate 10 Pro, Razer Phone, the OnePlus 5 and so on. What an outstanding device both in terms of design and specifications. So guys, hit me up in the comment section below and share your thoughts. Is the LG V30 Plus an underrated phone? I actually think it is. Do you like the V series and what do you think about LG smartphones in general these days? I'm really looking forward to your responses. There'll be some insane tests coming up to see just how good the V30 Plus is and I can tell just by my first impressions it's going to be an absolute beast in all departments. So stick around, trust me you don't want to miss it. Smash that thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel and as always guys, hit the bell icon so you never miss an upload and I'll catch you guys all on the next one.